the water right here going up maybe a hundred feet there's a whole row of culverts just gotta break my way through the edge ice is not too thick That feels amazing breaking through this. Oh, look at look how big that piece is. I just kicked. Oh, now that's gonna float away. It's clear as glass. And it doesn't look like this water's too deep. I think I could just walk right across, hopefully. It was much too deep where I tried down there. So I'm going across the more swift moving part. It's not as deep. But these rocks sure are slippery. Gotta watch where I place my feet. That is sure a beautiful shot of the ice and whitewater rapids. Timing, wow. Slowly making my way over. I can tell you, these culverts will basically last forever. They look like over an inch thick of solid cast iron. They probably reface the front, maybe, but those are probably original with the tracks. And they'll probably be here years in the future. Look how crystal clear the water is in the pool and the end. I don't know if this is intentional or if there's a clog, but you see how it's all in this one end? Why is that? Water here is much too deep to enter, actually. I think I can walk in right there. This would be an awesome swimming hole. So clear. Yeah, there's a big clog on them. Oh yeah, that's a massive clog. It doesn't look like it's causing any problem or will. See this big pile here? That's just debris from the last flood. Nothing to do with any creatures. See, completely plugged, completely plugged, completely plugged. And that one got an opening there. I can go ahead and report this to the train company. Chances are they'll do nothing. But if it's still here in the summertime, I'll remove it. It's too cold to do this. I don't want to do it in this cold weather, for one. And also, good chance I wouldn't be able to. It's all frozen together. Look at that, brand new screws for the track. And they just abandoned them out here. By the looks of it, a long time. All right, we're back. And it is spring. Let's see what this clog needs to get it out of the way. Wow, that's a lot.
but it's not like it's intertwined. This will go pretty easy. As soon as I get it open a little bit, I'm gonna start off by throwing it up top. But when I get it open a little bit, I'm gonna start allowing it to pass because there's no more culverts. It'll just go into the main river and just get moved out of here. I don't know about unclogging all of them, but we can definitely improve a couple of them. We'll see how it goes.
I have finally moved out enough that I have enough water power to actually start dragging stuff. So nothing else has to be thrown up top. I'm gonna get this open a bunch, then we'll move on to the next one. Now the job's easy, because I don't have to keep throwing it up. That was a big one. That was holding up a ton. That is great. Notice all the rocks moving. You can hear boom, boom, boom as they hit the metal. It's eroding the back down to its normal depth, which is like three feet lower.
All right, we're starting to work on the next one as this one is eroding itself. I don't think I have to do anything else in there. You see all the water's dirty? It's digging down on its own. And I gotta get started on this one while we have the power. After these two, I don't think we'll have the water power to even attempt the others, but that's all right. I already put a notice in with this train company, so if the track washes out, it's their own fault. This train company, I have reported so many clogs to them, and they don't do a thing. And also, just to prove they don't care, I have called their phone number for report a problem or emergency, and guess what they do? They won't even take your complaint. They tell you, go to our website and fill out a form. That basically means they don't care. I just dug that one out a little bit more.
we got quite a bit of flow in there now and that's going to slowly eat away at the bed opening them even after we're gone i'm still going to work on them a little bit I am absolutely out of breath, but I feel like I made a pretty good improvement here. Now this can't not be moved without an excavator. That's some really tough stuff over there. But even though I got those open, it's very short-lived. Because look up here. That'll be down here, the next big rainstorm, blocking them again. It's an ongoing battle. But I could tell what I was pulling out of there was there a very long time. Now, we can walk through the culverts. These culverts are probably really, really old. They definitely put new concrete over them, but they will last probably 500 years. Look at that. It's this thick solid cast iron those are the best culverts i've ever seen let's get a closer look we're gonna walk through and that's it for today all right now you can see there are still some rocks tumbling this is going to continue to erode until the bed is even with the culverts but we got those two at least the entrance open so the water knows what to do it'll start eroding the rest of this garbage afterwards that was a dumb idea, trying to throw them up there. You're out of breath after just a few. But there's enough water current to send it all through. Now, you probably notice this between all the culverts. That is a red flag. That will cause damage eventually. Not in the short term, but after like 10 years. You see, it only goes in like a foot. But that's the beginning of it. These sticks, I can't move. They're probably in here like five more feet. 
Despite how fast this is moving, it is not a plastic culvert. It is not a corrugated culvert. It's a very rough, probably 150 year old cast iron one. I can get great traction on that without any concern. It's so loud, but peaceful. Oh, oh. That, hear that? Oh, the rocks are rumbling through the culvert. That stick should eventually move when that's done. And as you can see, all that stuff I was sending through, none of it got stuck. Oh, I can feel rocks hitting my boots. How deep is this? Ah, oh, man. I can't get out. That's way over my head. Too bad it's not the middle of summer. I would be glad to do it in that weather. But now, it's May. Late May. Ooh, you hear how loud that is when they go boom boom. Those are definitely the most high quality culverts I've ever seen. But, sadly, the train company's gonna lose them if they don't do their maintenance. Probably $100 worth of concrete needed to save them millions in replacing the thing. This is pretty interesting. The old bulkhead for a building that's long collapsed. Looks like it was burnt, kinda. That's a lot of poison ivy. All right, big improvement. When we first got here a few months ago and earlier today, there was only flow coming out of that one. Now there's flow coming out of every one. That one's leaking through the clog. I was not gonna attempt moving, but those two are perfect. Look, the erosion's even on this side, but as you can see, there's no water coming out of that gap. That means the erosion's caused by it splashing into the deep pools. Best culverts I've ever seen. And as you can see, the water's murky because that's gonna continue to erode for a little while. Probably only a few hours. Look at that beautiful granite blocks. I bet behind this ugly concrete there's a nice granite wall. But they needed to do this because they built the railway higher over the years. Oh, that smell is awful. All I can smell out here is creosote. It's not the worst smell, but it's irritating after a while. And these sticks here won't cause a problem. The next higher waters, they'll get taken away in the river. Just like any big storm does, it collects random debris. You see all the debris on the edge? That'll come back in the riverbed. It won't cause any kind of problem. People always say that, but people talk when they don't know anything. All right, you see it goes right out to the big river and look what that river has in it There's logs in that river over 50 feet long For any of you who want to complain about the little things I'm allowing in there It's only been 10 minutes and I this is doing better there's, there's more flow coming out of this one than there is in that one now how bad is the clog in there? Well, we you can kind of see daylight in that one that's not really working, but that's daylight coming from above the dam. This one with the ton of flow, you can't see a thing because it's kind of like a natural funnel that's hidden from the sun. You see that? That actually is a railing. See that piece of metal sticking out? That's actually a railing from when this gravel was even with the top of that. They raised the tracks a ton. Oh, now I'm sad. I just heard a rumbling. It was a motorcycle on the road. I thought we were going to get to see another train. Yeah, but anyways, that's an old railing that used to be on top of this wall when the tracks were like four feet lower. Maybe because of flooding, just years of adding gravel and not wanting to remove it, 
whatever the case might be, the track is a lot higher than it used to be. And I assume they built this sometime maybe in the 30s into the 50s, this concrete. If it was newer concrete, it would have been destroyed after just 20 years. It's definitely good quality concrete, but it's being undermined by the constant freeze and thaw cycles. But you see this grin? I believe that's how tall the original granite bridge was, even lower. All right. Sad I couldn't get them all open. We came back here after a few months because I knew I had to do something in the winter. But in the winter, it was a frozen clog and it would not have moved. That was so fun getting to pull that apart, especially by hand. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.